school academics with your host, Tim Smith. Today, Westlaco East High School and Edinburgh High School match wits in their quest to become this year's Masterminds Champions. Hey everybody, welcome to Masterminds Round 1 competition, Edinburgh and Westlaco East today, and let's get right to it with our quick start questions, so hands on your buzzers. Here we go. What kind of number can be written in the form 2n, where n is an integer? That's uh, Westlaco East, Andrea. Coefficient. I'm sorry? Coefficient. No. <coughs> Edinburgh, you might want to try ringing if you do. All right, uh, Brian. A variable? No, it's an even, even number. Spell heinous. Heinous. That's Edinburgh Bryant. H A E N O U S. No. Let's go east, Mark. H A E N U S. H E I N O U S. <laughs> Math question What's 20% of 400? <coughs> Edinburgh Bryant. 80? Yes, that's correct. 9.75. Divided by 3.25. That's Westco East Mark. Three? Yes, that's right. Name the state that borders Arkansas, Mississippi, and Texas. That's Westco East Mark. Oklahoma? No. <laughs> Edinburgh, Andres. Iowa? No, it's Louisiana. The Philippine capital is located on what bay? And time is up. It's Manila Bay. The flat spreading top of a cumulonimbus cloud is shaped like what tool associated with the blacksmiths? That's supposed to go East Mark. A hammer? No. Edinburgh under Anvil? Yes, correct. Which element contained in all acids determines the properties of an acid? That's supposed to go East Mark. Hydrogen. Yes. During which month is the Earth farthest from the sun? What's go East Mark? December? No. Edinburgh, anybody? All right, to Brian. January? No, it's July. What epic is the sequel to the story of the Siege of Troy? Edinburgh, Brian. The Odyssey? Yes, that's correct, and that wraps up our quick start for today. Masterminds is supported in part by Navy Army Community Credit Union. So after a quick start, Edinburgh in the lead, 30 to 20 over Westlaco East. Before we go any farther, let's meet our judges who are here from the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Dr. Megan Burke, Associate Professor of History and Graduate Coordinator in the College of Liberal Arts, and Dr. Nordeen Rivetta, Assistant Professor in the Department of Literatures and Cultural Studies. Our judges, give them a round of applause for all the hard work they do, week in and week out. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. All right, before we get to hot topics, let's meet the team from Westlaco East. We'll start with Andrea. My name is Andrea Cruz. I'm in varsity tennis and cheer. I'm in NHS, NAHS, and that's it. Great, welcome. My name is Marco Salomon. I'm a member of West Coast NHS, the Chess Club, and a Green New Tomorrow Club. Terrific, welcome. My name is Joel De Los Santos. I am top 10% of my class. I am in the Green New Tomorrow Club, Chess Club, and National Honor Society. Glad to have you here. The team from West Laco East. Thanks for being here today. We appreciate it. All right, it's time for your hot topics. You're going to play by yourselves on this. You don't need your buzzers, okay? We'll take the first answer we hear from the team. Again, it's just West Laco East. Three questions about current events. Here we go. Senator Al Franken has expressed embarrassment and shame after several women said he touched them inappropriately. What state does Franken represent? And time is up. Minnesota. Flights have been canceled and more than 24,000 residents have been moved out of the way following volcanic eruptions on what Indonesian resort island? Hawaii? That was Bali. A 22-year-old kindergarten teacher has been detained while police investigate charges that children were drugged and molested in their classroom. In what country did this occur? And time is up. The answer was China. China. So we hold it 20 points. Now let's meet the team from Edinburgh. We'll start with Andres. Uh, hi, my name is Andres uh, Salazar. I'm in NHS, NTHS, BPA, and I play varsity tennis. Great. Welcome. Hello, my name is Brian Lopez. I'm in UIL Mathematics and Calculators in our varsity choir in NHS and Mi Alpha Theta, and I'm part of our school musical. Great. Welcome. Hi, I'm Katie Hill. I'm in NHS, HOSA, NTHS, and Mi Alpha Theta, and occasionally musicals as well. 
Well, fantastic. Glad to have you the team from Edinburgh in today's Masterminds game. All right, time for your hot topics now. Same rules, three questions, current events, no buzzers, okay? Playing by yourselves. Here we go. Akib Talib and Michael Crabtree were in the middle of a huge brawl, which we don't see too often in the NFL. Name their two teams. And time is up to Denver Broncos and the Oakland Raiders. Citing a human respect issue, the coach of what NBA team said his team will not make the traditional visit to the White House to celebrate their championship? Uh, the Golden State Warriors. That's correct, Steve Kerr. He's known for his hit song, All About Us, and for his role in Hamilton on Broadway. But most recently, he won the coveted Mirror Ball Trophy on Dancing with the Stars. Name him. Lynn manuel Miranda. No, it was Jordan Fisher. Jordan Fisher. Got one out of the three. That puts you up to 40 points. Our score after the first round is Edinburgh 40, Westlaco East 20. We're going to take a break. We come back. We'll meet the teacher coordinators. We'll do quick picks, the grab bag, all that and more as Masterminds continues on Channel 5. Welcome back to Masterminds. Round one competition today, Edinburgh and Westlaco East. Let's take a moment, meet the teacher coordinators in the two schools. We'll start with Westlaco East. Mark, you're up. This is Mr. Kalunga. He's a Harvard graduate and the best calculus teacher out there. Well, glad to have you here. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. And Edinburgh, Brian. This is Mr. Stroop. He's uh, our statistics teacher and our um, chess sponsors. Fantastic. Glad you're here. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate the teacher coordinators who help the students get ready for the game. All right, students, time now for quick picks. We're going to show you pictures on your TV screens. We'll ask you questions about each one. Everybody's playing, so you do, you do need your buzzers on this. Here we go. What if NL, NFL team plays in this stadium? What NFL team plays in this stadium? That's Edinburgh Andres. Oh, the Dallas Cowboys? That is correct. Walter Mondale chose her to be the first female vice presidential candidate. Name her. Time is up, Geraldine Ferraro. In what year will the next Men's World Cup soccer matches be held? Russell Gouis Mark. 2018. Yes. This animal is a wildebeest, which is also known by what three-letter word? And time is up, it's a new, G-N-U, a new. So Winston Churchill was a Nobel Prize winner. Did Churchill receive the Nobel Prize for peace, economics, or literature? Russell Gouis Mark. Peace. No? Edinburgh? Katie? Economics? No, if it was literature, if we just had one more team. All right. In what year did the Boston Tea Party occur? Leslie Andreas. 1773. That's correct. This one-time world leader was famously portrayed in the movies by Madonna. Who was she? And time is up. That's Eva Peron. This man was the first son of a president to become president. Who was he? All right, Edinburgh, Brian. John Adams. John Quincy Adams. There you go. That's correct. What kind of chart is this? That's Wilson Gouy, Sandra. Pronoun chart. Pronoun chart, no. <laughs> Edinburgh, anybody? Time is up. A verb conjugation chart is what that is. And finally, this is the Sacre Coeur Basilica in Paris. What is the English translation of Sacre Coeur? And time is up. It's too late. It's Sacred Heart. That's where you're going, right? That's what you're going to say? Sacred Heart. That wraps up our quick picks for today. Masterminds is supported in part by Navy Army Community Credit Union. So after Quick Picks, the score is Edinburgh 60, Westlaco East 40. That means Westlaco East, you get to go first in the grab bag round. Dr. Rivetta has three envelopes from which to choose. You can choose anyone you want, one, two, or three. Or two. Uh, two. Boldly choosing number two. All right, you've got 60 seconds to answer the 10 questions in this envelope, all related to one category. If you don't know one, say fast. You don't need your buzzers on this. You're playing by yourselves. Take the first answer we hear from the team. Your category is anti, A-N-T-I. Each answer begins with the prefix anti or anti, okay? 60 seconds, here we go. Natural aversion. It's pass. Use for defense against enemy planes. Anti-defend? No. Uh, anti A substance produced by living organisms having the power to kill or inhibit growth of bacteria. Antibiotics? Yes. Hostility or discrimination against Jews? Anti-Semite. Anti right. Yes. A letdown after a series of exciting events? Uh, 
past. Any of a number of compounds used mainly for the treatment of allergies. Antidote? No. <laughs> Italian hors d'oeuvres. Pass. Alternate singing, one choir answering another. <clears throat> Pass. Against monopolies. Pass. A poison which neutralizes another poison in the blood serum. Okay, go. man, that one's gone. Okay, I mean, you get good. Two correct. Let's go over the others. Natural aversion is antipathy. Used for defense against enemy planes as anti-aircraft. Let down after a series of exciting events as anticlimax. Uh, any of a number of compounds used mainly for the treatment of allergies and antihistamine. Italian hors d'oeuvres, antipasto. Alternate singing, one choir answering another is antiphony. Against monopolies is antitrust. And a poison which neutralizes another poison in the blood serum is antitoxin or anti-venom. Got two correct, up to 50 points. Now, Edinburgh, it's your turn. Two envelopes remain. Choose whichever one you'd like. We'll go for number three. Number three it is. Same rule, 60 seconds, 10 questions. Pass if you don't know one. Okay, no buzzers. Your category is USA. I'll list three cities within a certain state, and you name the state. Okay, 60 seconds. Here we go. Sunnyvale, San Mateo, and Palo Alto. New Mexico? No. Eagle Pass, Corpus Christi, and Beaumont. Texas. Yes. Prairie City, Ames, and Sioux City. Pass. Ashland, Akron, and Xenia. Pass. Athens, Valdosta, and Augusta. Georgia. Yes. Kingsport, Jackson, and Oak Ridge. New York. No. Durham, Portsmouth, and Concord. Massachusetts? No. Palatka, Titusville, and Pompano Beach. California? No. Greenville, Spartanburg, and Florence. Massachusetts? No. Huntington, Parkersburg, and Charleston. North Carolina? No, we'll go back. Prairie City, Ames, and Sioux City. And time is up. All right, got... Two correct. Let's go over the others. Sunnyvale, San Mateo, and Palo Alto are in California. Prairie City, Ames, and Sioux City are Iowa. Ashland, Akron, and Xenia are Ohio. Kingsport, Jackson, and Oak Ridge are Tennessee. Durham, Portsmouth, and Concord are New Hampshire. Palatka, Titusville, and Pompano Beach, Florida. Greenville, Spartanburg, and Florence, South Carolina. Huntington, Parkersburg, and Charleston, all West Virginia. All right, up to 70 points. Now there's one envelope left, which no one chose. Envelope number one, so we all play on this one. Need your buzzers, okay? We still have 60 seconds. This category is iguana. All right? Iguana. Everybody's playing. Need your buzzers. Here we go. How do you spell iguana? Edinburgh Brian. I G U A N A. That's correct. Some iguanas are arboreal. What does this mean? That's what Scooby Smart. They live near trees. They live near trees? No. Edinburgh, anybody? And time is up. They bask on the tree branches. What's the main use of the iguana's tail? Edinburgh, uh, Andres. Uh, to grip branches? No. East Andrea. To help them swim through water? No, it's for defense. It's like a whip. Name one item in the diet of, uh, the diet of a wild iguana. That's uh, what's squeeze more. Insects? Yes, that's good. Name one country iguanas are native. Or in one, name one country in which iguanas are native. Edinburgh Andres. Brazil. Uh, yes. Green iguanas are in danger of extinction in many areas. Why? Time is up. The answer is because people catch them for food or for the pet trade. So, after our grab bag, it scores Edinburgh 90, West Laco East 60. We're going to take a break. When we come back, it'll be time for art and music. Each question worth 20 points. Don't go away. Masterminds continues right after the break. Welcome back to Masterminds. It's round one competition today between Edinburgh and West Laco East. Right now, Edinburgh's in the lead 90 to 60. It's time for art and music. Each question is going to be worth 20 points. We start with top art. Ask you to identify the artist or the work of the piece that's about to appear on your screen. For 20 points, the artist or the work. All right, that's Edinburgh, Brian. Picasso? No, it's not Picasso. East, anybody? All right, Mark. Uh, Salvador Dali. No, this is Vasily Kandinsky. It's All Saints 1. Do another. 20 points for that one, too.
All right, that's Burkini. Diego Velasquez? No, not it. You said don't want to try it? All right, Joel. Performance. <laughs> Good guess was Ballet Rehearsal on Stage by Edgar Degas. All right, so we're over for 2 on art. Let's try music now. For this, listen carefully. Identify the composer or the work. This also for 20 points. The composer or the work, please. And time is up. That's Shara Hazad by Rimsky Korsakov. Is what that was. We've got one more. 20 more points on the line. Here we go. Edinburgh Andres. Beethoven? No, it's not Beethoven. That's <laughs> Greece. Anybody want to try it? Ring in. All right, Andrea. Bach? <laughs> nope, this is Chopin. Waltz <laughs> in C minor. So we're over for art and music. That means our score stands at Edinburgh 90, West Lego 60. We're going to take a break. We come back. It'll be time for the final stretch. We'll see which one of these teams is moving on to the next round of competition. Don't go away. Welcome back to Masterminds. It's round one today with Edinburgh High School and West Lego East. Edinburgh in the lead 90 to 60. It's time for the final stretch. We'll ask questions until that final bell rings. Whoever's leading at that point moves on to the next round. You ready? And when you buzzer, here we go. A lunar occultation occurs when the moon, moon passes in front of a planet or star in the same geometry that causes a solar eclipse. Name any one of the four first magnitude stars that the moon can occult. All right, what's going show up? The sun? No. <laughs> All right, Brian. The North Star? No, it's Aldebaran, Spica, Antares, and Regulus. Bimetallism is a term you encounter in which field? Astronomy, archaeology, geology, sociology, or economics? That's Edinburgh Andres. Geology? No. Thanks for anybody. The time is up. It's actually an economics term. Just as Nippon is the native name for Japan, Kavalet Nunat is the native name for what? Time is up, that's Greenland. Using I as the imaginary number in mathematics, what is 4 plus I times 3 minus I? All right, what's the Luis Andrea? I. No. <laughs> Edinburgh. And time was a 13 minus I. 13 minus I. What is more? Com what is the more common name of calcium sulfate? Time is up. Plaster of Paris. Quote the first line of the poem from which this second line is taken. Over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. And time is up. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary. Harry Truman liked to say that he wished he had a one-armed advisory advisor, so that he could never hear what cliche. Time is up. On the other hand, that's bad, right? On the other hand, who once told a groom it is customary to cuss the bride? And time is up. Reverend William Spooner, that invented the term spoonerisms. This is a math question. What's the derivative of 2x cubed minus 2x squared? That's Ed McBrien. 6x squared minus 4x. That's correct. Which Italian musical term literally means lively? That's Edinburgh Andres. Staccato. No. Must go with anybody? Ring in. The time is a pivace. Bikini and Anawitok are islands that have been used as a nuclear test sites. What is the name of the island group to which they belong? The time is up. That's the Marshall Islands. What was the nickname of the Indian leader Tenskawatawa, brother of Tecumseh? Tenskawatawa. Edinburgh Andres. Uh, Massasoit. <laughs> no. He's saying, I want to try it. Time's up. The Prophet. 
Four questions about Greek myth and legend. Which Greek hero created the stratagem of the wooden horse? And time is up, Odysseus. Were the Titans overthrown by the Trojans, Amazons, Spartans, Olympians, or Centaurs? Plus Greek mark. Olympians? Yes, that's correct. This hero is usually depicted in art wearing a lion skin and carrying his weapons, a club, plus a Greek mark. Hercules. Yes. Who were the three goddesses who claimed the golden apple marked to the fairest? Time is up. Hera, Athena, and Aphrodite. We're moving on. Name the largest region of the world's largest country. Plus a Greek mark. Siberia? Yes. In this type of racing, horses can have weights clipped to front hooves to lengthen the stride. Can you name it? And time is up. That's harness racing. Four questions about the human body. Where would you find Golgi bodies, mitochondria, lysosomes, and centrioles? Edinburgh, Brian. In the cells? Uh, yes, that's correct. Of spinal cord, medulla, pons, hypothalamus, and midbrain, which plus the Greek mark? In the brain. No, which is, which is not a part of the human brain stem. Edinburgh. Yes. Of spinal cord, medulla, pons, hypothalamus, and midbrain, which is not part of the human brain stem. Okay, Katie. Pons? Plus the hypothalamus. What is acute nasopharyngitis more commonly called? Edinburgh, Brian. A runny nose? No. Tasting bud? Sometimes that's the common cold. What word is used to describe a cancerous growth made up of epithelial cells? Epithelial cells. Edinburgh Andres. Tumor? No. Tasting bud? Time is up, Carsonova. Dvorak, Schubert, Bruckner, and Mailer all matched Beethoven in one accomplishment. What did they do? Time is up, they all wrote nine symphonies. How many electrons are there in the outermost electron shell of lead at ground state? That's Edmund Bryan. Six. No. Is anybody? Time is up, four. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting is founded. Thurgood Marshall becomes the first black Supreme Court Justice. The 25th Amendment is ratified, and President Johnson meets with Premier Kosygin in Glassboro, New Jersey. What year was it? All right, Edinburgh, Andres. 1965? No. Anybody? All right, Mark. 1919? That was 1967. The weight of any one portion of the crust is in equilibrium with the weight of all other portions. What geological theory am I describing? And time is up. Isostasy. Arbeit macht frei was the motto over entrance gates to the Nazi concentration camps. Translate it. Arbeit macht frei. And time. Okay, go ahead. Uh, what's the least mark? Work will set you free? Yes, we'll take that. Work makes you free. Work will set you free, yes. In what artistic field did Andrea Palladio gain prominence during the Renaissance? All right, what's the good job? Sculpture. No? Edinburgh? In times of architecture. So questions about the animal kingdom. These absorbent marine creatures are so motionless that they were formerly thought to be plants. Name these marine Edinburgh Andres. Sponges. Yes. Of minnow, carp, flounder, remora, and sturgeon, which fish is known for changing its color to match its surroundings? What's the Andres? Flounder. Yes. Lemmings, which are known for their tendency to drown accidentally, are members of which order of mammals? Time is up. The answer is going to be rodents. And our final score in a tight game is Edinburgh 120, West Flaco East 110. That means Edinburgh, you're moving on to the next round of competition. I want to congratulate all the students for a good job here today. I want to thank our judges here from UTRGV, Dr. Burke and Dr. Rivetta. All right, Edinburgh, we'll see you in the next round, and we'll see you at home next week for another exciting episode of Masterminds.